Next, the mystery over massive levels of radiation that have forced a Berkshire man to abandon his suburban home. Exactly a year ago, we reported on Ray Fox, who left his house due to ill health. Subsequent tests discovered plutonium levels 40 times higher than normal. The oil giant Shell had permission to store radioactive material at a former depot nearby, but the company denies it ever did. Sharon Thomas reports. Ray Fox unlocks the fortress he once called home. He lived here with his wife and four children for 13 years. He showed me the damage he says was caused by high levels of plutonium seeping into his garden. And there you can see where the floor here has been affected by the radiation. The water levels came up through, it's attacked the timbers and the floor is gone, it's unlivable. Ray has since abandoned his home and is now living in a nearby caravan park. But he says the subsequent damage to his health has been far worse. I come to be very, very ill. And uh, I was bleeding, feet, vomiting all the time, constantly being in and out of hospital. Nobody could put a word to it, a description to it. Um, myself, I began to realise something was seriously wrong. Mr Fox's garden was found to have levels of plutonium 40 times higher than normal background radiation. Now, after seven years campaigning, he's celebrating official recognition of his plight. The European Commission has established a former shell depot behind his home, where these houses now stand, was granted a licence to handle radioactive material in the 60s. He says there's been a cover-up. I think it should be an independent inquiry to discover why ministers lied, why councillors lied, why doctors have lied, and why these people in high authority, highly paid, did not do their job properly. But Shell says the licence wouldn't have covered plutonium. They say we can state categorically that our former depot at Early was never used by us for any purpose than the storage of conventional oil products. The Environment Agency says tests in neighbouring gardens last July showed there was nothing above the natural levels of radiation you would expect in Berkshire. It's clear that what's happened to Ray Fox's home has blighted his life. Although he has now won this small victory, there are still more legal battles ahead. But early in Berkshire, this is Sharon Thomas for London Tonight. All right, it's that time of the evening now.